Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and welcome to the Hidden Creek Homestead. So our first addition to our new homestead has been a pair of two young um, Nigerian dwarf goats, and I believe they're mixed with a little bit of feigning goat. Um, they're about three or four months old now. I think one was born in March, the other was born in April. If you want to take a walk back with me, I'll come show them to you. The little one in front, her name's Millie, and she's the younger of the two. And out comes Magnolia. We just got through uh, picking up this hay feeder for them. I think that we're gonna have to come up with uh, some type of top, maybe a top that'll swing open. Maybe if I put some wood, some hinges, and then uh, line the top of it with like tin roofing, that might be a good idea. Um, just because, you know, goats are fussy. I think once that hay gets real wet, if it rains or whatnot, they may not wanna eat it. So um, I think that's gonna be a project coming up here in the next couple of days. We'll get some tin and some material and gather some stuff to put a roof on this thing. Roof, cover, whatever you want to call it. Well, I don't think that's how that works, Millie. This one thinks it's a bed and breakfast over here. So an obstacle that I've encountered since we moved here is that I've got a lot of projects that need to get done in addition to that roof on the goat feeder. But all of my tools are still locked in the pod back in New York. So that has made things incredibly difficult. For example, their house. I had to go buy this. I found this, I think, on um, the Facebook marketplace. But I had to buy this because I couldn't make a little house for them. I couldn't make a shelter, a lean-to, nothing. Um, it's driving me crazy. Lessons learned. Uh, don't move without your tools. It's not a good idea. Once I get my tools here, we're going to build them a little barn. Um, so we'll have shelter and whatnot and uh, I might either build a coop into it or next to it I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but I just thought I'd show you this area this pen that I have for them um, they have absolutely decimated every weed and everything in it that was in here I mean and I, I know you guys still see weeds on the ground now but you know when I bought this there it was just overgrown with I mean it looked like that back there it was just overgrown with brambles and all types of bushes and I mean, that right there was an enormous poison ivy patch. And they just went to town and destroyed it. They're doing a great job on these weeds. So I think once they're done chewing all this down, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to get you know, one of those Premier One electric nets. And I think I'll uh, attach it here you know, so they can come out. And then I'll have them start working on this area next. So that's what the inside of that pen looked like, just a mess like that. This is an old coop and run that was here when I bought the property. That's going to go, and that's going to be the site of our barn, actually. So we've got to get this all graded and leveled. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's real hilly here. It's not flat. So we're going to yank this coop out. Um, it kind of dips down behind there too, where the coop is. So I'm gonna have to push some of this dirt back there, level this all out. And that's where we're gonna build a little bit of barn. Anyway, um, I wanna try to stretch the Premier One net out here, at least, and have them start clearing this whole area up and all this stuff. Um, give them something to eat, and uh, it'll just make my life easier when I'm working back there. So anyway guys, as you can tell, um, we are just getting set up here. We don't have anything except two goats and a hay feeder. So uh, bear with me and um, we'll get you some stuff to watch. Um, Great Northern 70, our first subscriber. Way to go, thank you so much, that means a lot. Um, hopefully we'll have some stuff to show you here soon and uh, thanks for watching so far. And I forgot to mention, the first subscriber came from none other than Country View Acres page. So um, out of all these YouTube homesteaders and farmers and whatnot, um, Evan and his wife, Rebecca, and Country View Acres has been my absolute favorite to watch. Uh, you know, it's a lot of these people, they tend to get a little produced, so to say. And I just think that Evan and Rebecca are just such genuine, genuine people. 
and um, you know I really like what they have going on over there so you know check them out not that anyone's watching this anyway but uh, check them out if you get a chance